welcome everybody to part 15 of my Pokemon Scarlet playthrough. In the last part, I entered the Pokemon League, defeated the Elite Four, and even not one, but two champions, Gita and Nimona. And unfortunately, no end credits played after all that, nor was there even a Hall of Fame screen, but... The main story is done, however, the playthrough itself isn't done just yet. There is still more to show. The next thing I'm gonna do... Well, in case you didn't see what happened at the very end of the last part, I got a call from Arvin reminding me that uh, it's pretty much time now to go to Area Zero, which is where Professor Seda is uh, located. And it's about time that I get to go to Area Zero and meet her. Now, where do I go? Well, uh, I go to the Zero Gate, apparently. Just gonna fly to Medelli to make my way there. Okay, hold on there, Arvin. I'm coming for you. Come on, Kariden, get climbing. I hope you're as excited of going to Area Zero as I am. And maybe, that might be where we'll be going to regain your ability to battle. Oh boy, there's that strange building. The Great Crater of Palthia. Sorry to keep you waiting, Arvin. Yeah, yeah, I, I still have Koridon with me. I bet it will be happy to finally be going home. Oh, and it's not just going to be me and Arvin going to Area Zero. Two more friends will be joining us. And the way home is the new quest you're taking on. And that, of course, you don't unlock until you defeat the Pokemon League. Nimona? How did you get here first? Oh, so you're thrilled to see what kind of Pokémon we'll be fighting in Area Zero, are you? I don't think they're anywhere around here. Uh-oh. Someone turned on the lights. Penny? Well, what do you know? Well, she is good with technology. Well, mostly hacking. So Nimona and Penny will be joining us on the journey to Area Zero. Oh, so those two have never have been properly introduced. Or officially, uh, anyway. Uh, girls, this isn't really a good time for a battle. I wonder if they even know that she's uh, the founder of Team Star. Wait, who is that talking? The professor. Oh, they she's been expecting me. That Penny is Arvin's mother. Oh, 
Oh, so... She's happy that all four of us are here. Well, that's exactly where we're heading. She must not have time for questions right now. Okay, guys, let's make our way to Area Zero. Well, great, we have another big door. And it's open. Well, we're in luck. Well, it's got to be the professor, right? Well, yes, I always have Koryden with me. It's not like I can put it in my boxes or anything. Oh boy, we're gonna be gliding over there? This ought to be, you know, quite a ride. Well, technically, it can fly, not exactly... I mean, it can glide, not exactly fly. Yep, uh, can't wait myself. <laughs> yeah, Nimona is clearly pretty fearless. Nor does she ever give up when it comes to battling me. So, let's do this. Let's go down there. Come on now, Koryden. Get ready, to, get ready to see your home again. And your master. Well, what's the matter? You're not afraid, are you? It can't be scared of heights. Ooh, are we all gonna ride on it? Don't worry about logic, Penny. Oh boy, don't you dare fall off. Not without me. Come on. Good. And there they go. Hope you're all enjoying the ride. Waterfall, a rainbow, a ton of trees and grass. Now, this isn't at all how I pictured Area Zero. It looks pretty lovely. But of course, there is also a ton of fog here, too. Are you alright, Koryden? You're not all worn out, are you? It must have been from all four of us riding on it. Quite probably took a lot of energy out of it. Uh-oh. Nimona? Where are you? Oh, don't tell me she fell off Koryden and... Oh, wait. She's alright. Yes, Nimona, it does look amazing. But, where are all the Pokémon? That's right, Professor, all thanks to Koryden. I'll say. The Zero Lab, in the deepest part. 
I can only imagine what that deepest part is like. So you gotta visit four research stations in order to enter the deepest part of Area Zero to get to the Zero Lab. We'll all succeed, Professor. Video gaming? Well, uh, funny that you should say that. Now, during this part, as you first enter Area Zero, you're currently unable to ride upon Koriden. And for some... Oh, wait. Okay, you can send your Pokemon out in Let's Go mode. But, well, there are a lot of Jump Plups over here, and some Floettes. And I just saw a Corbin Knight, too. I also gotta remember exactly how to get to each research station. Now, aside from all the usual Pokémon you find, you will also find some pretty different and rather strange-looking Pokémon. Oh boy, a Raichu, and... Oh, well, now I, I can't even aim at the wild Pokémon. And that's because my friends are currently chatting right now. For some reason, you can't do certain things while they chat. And apparently, there are still a lot of items laying around Area Zero Two. I want to get that TM, whatever it is. Hydro Pump. It's a pretty strong water move, but of course, it has pretty low accuracy. Citrus berries. Okay. I do like citrus berries. They restore a decent amount of your Pokemon's health whenever their health is low enough. Well, it does make sense to find fresh water in this pond, or, well, not a pond, but this large water area. And, you certainly do find a lot of citrus berries around here. Soon enough, we may just run into a pretty unusual looking Pokémon. I'm not sure if this is the right way to get to the first station. Well, I see one down there. But, and I don't think you can take a shortcut by jumping from a great height. Just in case, I better try to get to that lab the proper way. And don't worry about your friends, they'll always catch up with you. They're pretty good at following you. Well, I I may I think I may have to go this way. And boy, Area Zero is also pretty bright. It's not too bright, but just kind of. And there's an item right at the very bottom of this waterfall. Oh, and your character moves slowly when going through even though Arvin just moved at a natural speed. Pardon me, Raichu. Me and my friends here are just exploring the place and trying to reach a research station. Metatites and Metachams, they're here too. Are you going to tell them the part that you started off as the founder of Team Star? Hmm. 
Man, uh, Area Zero is citrus berries galore. There's that first station. Getting close. Look at that, a Venomoth and a Frost Moth. Nice to see both those moth-like Pokemon in the same place. There's the first research station. However, when you get when you get to it, you may need to face a Pokemon that's trying to stop you. Radish rations? Stations. Oh, right. Uh, Arvin said that wrong. What? What was that? Oh my god! It's a Glimora! One of Gita's Pokémon. And... Oh, so the Great Crater is where it's from. And now you gotta face that Glimora. I wonder if you can catch it, too. Ah uh, yeah, so Nimona's gonna be helping me with this thing. And, well, there's no Pokeball icon in the bottom, so you probably can't catch it. Wait, it's super effective, or I mean, uh, it's weak to sidekick moves. Is it also a poison type? Glamora is weak to, well, it's a rock Pokemon, but Okay, so it must also be a poison type. Way to go, Nimona. Yes, I'm pretty sure there will be more. Well, this part of Area Zero doesn't look terrifying. Besides, I faced the Glimora before. And you will find other Glamoras in Area Zero that you can catch. So let's finally get inside this first station. And see what we'll find. Oh, so you can still gain materials from the Pokémon you face. Like the Pokémon you can't catch. Well, this place is practically empty. And there's a bed here for some reason. Well, there's Seda again. Well, I'm afraid there's no time for a rest, Nimona. We must finish this journey. Of course I wanted to disable the lock. Why would I ever say no? Uh, can you rest in the bed? Oh, you can. But of course I don't really need it. Oh yes, you also saw there was a teleporter there. But you can't exactly interact with it right now. I, I think it's not until you finish the Poe story. You use that teleporter to... Well, from the station, it'll, I think it'll teleport you back to... Outside of the... Outside of Area Zero somewhere back in Paldia. And all of the other stations will have teleporters, too. Keep moving, guys. Don't bother the giraffe rigs. Come on, Nimona, get Penny's name right. She doesn't go by the name Cassipia anymore. I guess.
Jeez, these Drapper Eggs and Venomops are everywhere. Absolutely everywhere. Hey, this is my item, Arvin. It's my Max Potion. I think you may be able to go down this way. Time to go for a slide, guys. Oh look, there, there are lichen rocks here too. And there's the second station. This should be where you'll face a pretty unusual Pokemon as soon as you reach it. And you can still encounter the other wild Pokemon while your friends are chatting. So you were supposed to go down that dirty slope. Yeah, Nimona, you usually have a lot more energy than that. What is it, Penny? What in the... That thing looks like a Jigglypuff. What exactly is that thing? It's like a... It's a weird-looking version of Jigglypuff. Oh boy, and it's not exactly happy to see us. Penny, you better get away from that thing. Oh, so you want to help me... Er, no. I'm, I may be battling it alone. Wait, who's Umbreon is that? Okay, Penny is helping me. Right. Screamtail? That's the name of this Pokemon? Okay, well... It's time to take this thing out. Use your psychic, Arowana. Uh-oh, that didn't do much good. What type is this scream tail? Oh no wait, Surf will damage Umbreon too. I better go with this. Despite the recoil it causes. Well, this weird looking Jigglypuff like Pokemon is out. And of course you can't catch that either. I don't know either, Penny, but it's not like any other Jigglypuff I have ever seen. Don't worry, guys. We're, we're entering the second station now. Okay, so there's another bed here and another teleporter. It does look exactly the same as the first station. Nimona, I told you, this is no time to catch a breath. Haven't you ever seen these Pokémon before, Arvin? Isn't that the Scarlet Book? As we descended further into Area Zero, we began to catch glimpses of mysterious Pokémon. One of our team suffered a brutal blow from such a beast and was mortally wounded, forcing us to retreat for a time. Oh boy. Then those mysterious Pokemon... They must be pretty dangerous. And there's the Pokemon that looks like a Donphin, but... Monsters? They gotta be Pokemon. I mean, there's no such thing as, like... Well, I guess you could say... Pokemon technically are monsters. I mean, they they were known as pocket monsters at first, right? Yeah, they're definitely not usual Pokemon. Yeah, that's right, Professor. We definitely need an explanation. Ancient Pokemon? A distant past. Is it possible? Time Machine? 
No way. Time travel is involved in this game. Aren't you proud of her, Arvin? Well, probably not. He really cared more about... Her, or... He really cared more about Seda wanting to spend more time with him. Professor? Well, that's exactly what... Well, mostly what Arvin wants. Alright, time to disable that second lock. Again, what a stupid question that is. Well, it must be one special book. You want me to carry it? Well then. Uh, thank you. I'll make sure it, it remains in the right hands. Off to station number three. We must continue on this way. We're about to cross even more water. And there's another TM beyond the waterfall. I see a masquerade over there. Aerial Ace? Well, I, my Thunderbeak already has that. Well, the game's saving, so we're clearly making progress. Definitely going the right way. We'll be reaching that deepest part of Area Zero before we know it. And I see the next station. Time to see what mysterious Pokémon we're facing here. And no doubt Arvin will be helping me take it out. No, Namona, we don't get to chill. How many times do I have to tell you that? Now what's... Oh my god! Isn't that... A great tusk? Like the Titan Pokemon I fought in the desert? You're right, Arvin. It is the same Pokemon. It definitely wasn't the Donpin. Well, Arvin, you helped me take it out before, so we can take it out again. It may still be weak to grass and water moves. What level is Arvin's Mabostiff? Oh wait, Great Tusk is weak to psychic moves too. Then I assume it's also a poison type. And it's out. Didn't stand a chance. Darn right victories, ours.
I'm not sure. I don't even know how she can get all of them under control. Let's disable that third lock. And also hear from the professor again. Nope, none of us do. You're really concerned about these mysterious Pokemon, are you? Huh, good question. I... I really have no idea. It might be. Yeah, Arbin. Do you know something? Really? Well, there she is again. Well, it looks like Penny's hunch was right. Ancient form of a Cyclezar. Well, no wonder it's uh, good for riding upon. But tell me, Professor, will we be able to regain Koridon's ability to battle here? Wait, two specimens? You mean there's another Koridon? I wonder if she has it. Well, probably. Yeah, and no doubt Arbin wishes that he and his mother can finally be a family again. And his father, even though he's only in Pokemon Violet. And will that final station be in the deepest part of Area Zero? Hey, you know what? I want to go back in there and see if you can interact with the teleporter right now. Okay, so you can. You can even teleport back to the Zero Gate if you want. Let's finally get to that last station and see if we'll finally be seeing the Professor. And, oh boy. That looks like a pretty dark cave. It's most likely where the last station is. Uh-oh, look at that. It's another screen tail. One that you are able to catch. I wonder if I'll find another Glamora or even another Great Tusk. Oh look, there's a Glamora right there. No, two of them. Or, wait. Oh, okay, that is a Glamora. Looks like it was disguising itself as an ordinary plant. Oh wow, Gibbles and Gibbites and the Dunsparce. Yep, they do look beautiful. I see another TN to collect. And is that another building I see? Could that be the last station? Indeed, let's.
Nobody's gonna die here, Arvin. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Penny, you're right. I wonder if this could be where the Terra Orbs come from. Here we come, last station. I assume it may be that building way over there, or... Well, we'll see. No doubt Arbin really can't wait to see his mother again. Oh boy, there are S. Papras down here too. And Dog Trios. Whoa, look at that! That Dog Trio is it's passing right through this giant rock here. Oh man. How would you ever be able to even touch that Dog Trio while it's doing that? Oh wait, that's a duh Dunsparce. And also a regular Dunsparce too. Almost there. Boy, that's one sparkling building. It must be the last station. Here we are. And this should be where we'll face yet another mysterious Pokemon. Or maybe not. Well, this station looks different, but also pretty wrecked. Something trashed this place. Well, Seda, care to explain what happened to this station? Huh? You already said that. What? It, why is she talking like that? What, does she think she's a defective computer or something? Something is definitely not right with her. Initiating restart? Now what the heck is going on here? Well, it seems like she may be unable to talk to us this time. Let's just disable that final lock now. And good thing the bed is still in one piece. We can finally enter that zero lab. Oh, and now she's back. Okay, she's back, and yet she's still talking funny. Okay, alright, so we're finally gonna go there and see what's up with the professor, why she was talking like that. I know, something was very off. What are those things? What are these? i never seen these Pokemon before. Well, they do look like... Like a previous form of... Yep, they are. They're definitely a previous form of Glamora. Now what's this right here? Is this something you can read? 
some sort of plate inscribed with a mysterious symbol, and that's it. Pardon me, Dugtrio, I wanted to get this shard. And I don't think I'm going the right way. I assume we came from that way. Move his screen tail. And I do prefer a regular Jigglypuff over that thing. A fighting Terra Shard, three of them. Okay. I still don't see the lab anywhere. Oh boy. Oh crap! I didn't mean to fall down there. Oh, uh... Oh wow, uh... uh the others uh, jumped down here with me too. So, you are, you are able to take a shortcut. But this right here is the Zero Lab. And it... Yup, it looks pretty big. All the all the locks are disabled, so we we'll, we'll, we should be able to enter it right away. This has got to be the deepest part. There's nowhere else to go from here. What my Roton phone? You are there, right? No way! So this is where the terrestrialization ability came from. All of this place is terrestrialized. Did she create the Terra Orbs? Very interesting. Well, I'm pretty sure that entering the lab's not going to be as easy as we think. And yes, those Pokémon do sound problematic, but I'm sure there's still nothing we can't handle. I'm sure we'll be fine. We are coming for you, lab. And for you, professor. Is the game going to be asking me another stupid question? Yes, it is. Aw, uh, what now? I'm not so sure if Koridon is up to up for the battle yet. Or is it? Yeah, I, I suppose I too want to see it battle. But I don't know if it regained that ability yet. Well, Arbin has a point. It has been regaining all of its other abilities from e eating Herba Mysticus. Well, alright, let's do it. If it will come out... Well, Koridon, does this whole place look familiar? Oh no. That doesn't sound very good. Even though the door's opening. What? What is that? That must be the other Koridon. Holy crap. It is.
yeah, well, something tells me it's not going to be a very friendly family reunion. Yep, definitely not very friendly. No kidding. What is that Koryden doing? Oh, well, for now it's pretty much retreating. Must be heading back to the Professor. Sorry that didn't go very well, buddy. It should have been happy to see you. Yeah, I think Penny has a point now. No, it didn't help. I'm really not sure. It can't be, since it's been a pretty faithful ally to me. Oh my god, look at that! More mysterious Pokémon are showing up! Oh god, they're all coming after us! They really don't want us to enter that lab. We gotta take them all out at once. Oh my god, are we surrounded or what? Come on guys, let's not give up now. We can take them all out. Yep, I'm pretty sure they're all agents. They're different from other Pokemon we've seen. Yes, let's do, let's do this together. We must work together. Teamwork always works. Starting with another Great Tusk. They won't stand a chance like the other one didn't. That's a level up for Arowana. Well, what's next? One of those weird looking Amoongiuses? Don't worry, Penny. I will help you. I'm gonna help all of you out. I would have expected to be fighting two of them. Since it's, you know, two against one. Brute Bonnet? That's a weird name. Uh-oh, it must be a dark type. I should probably switch to... Yeah, definitely Crabber Ling. Just in case it tries to use a dark move on my psychic Arowana. Okay, it's just gonna keep going after Penny's Umbreon. Time to give you a great big beatdown! Yeah, nice try. You lose. Now what are we facing? That weird looking mischievous? Well, I'm glad to see Koryden hasn't gone back into its Pokeball yet. Way to scare them off. Well, she enjoys all kinds of Pokémon battles, clearly. Yeah, those girls will be fine. For now, you and I gotta take out this Mistrevis next. And what is it called as an ancient Pokémon? It's called... a Fluttermane. I'm just gonna try to keep using Psychic on these Pokémon. Really? You tried to use a Psychic move on a Dark-type? 
Well, that only did moderate damage. And so did Crunch, but it's almost now. It that was also a pretty stupid move. Bye-bye, Fluttermane. Now can we get into that lab? I must see the professor. Be careful, Arvin. I'm sure you can handle them. Mayboss Dip seems pretty up to it. It ruined your childhood? Really? You're gonna blame it for all of your problems? It won't lose. I won't let it. Koryden will win this. Also, I want to start off with another Pokemon now. Ah, Muddyfish is still at level 76. Here I come, Professor. And there she is. But why is she sitting like that? Human presence detected. What? Uh, Professor? Are you okay? Deactivating? What in the... Did you just see her eyes glow right there? Suffy tells me she's not even human. Uh, hello, Professor. Uh, I'm glad to... Oh boy, it's back. That's definitely her Koryden. And she's got a Master Ball, while I still don't have one myself. And believe it or not, you don't get a Master Ball until after you completed both the main story and the post story. And that's unlike every other Pokemon game, you usually get a Master Ball much later on in the main stories. Oh, so... Well, that explains a lot, why Koryden was flying all over Paldia in the beginning. Apologize for what? You're... You're not the true Professor Seda. What do you mean? Oh my god. She's a robot. No wonder she's been talking so weird. And why her eyes have been glowing. What? The real Professor... She's dead? So... She sacrificed herself to save the Koridon? Oh my god, Arvin is going to be pretty devastated. No wonder he's never been spending time with his mother anymore. And of course, the same backstory goes for Professor Turo in Violet. You want me to stop the time machine? It must be pretty dangerous, is it? Okay then, Mrs. Robot Professor. Uh, there's still more I want to know. You realize that. Oh, what do we have here? Booster energy? Well, I... That's a different item. Can't imagine how how deep this elevator goes. Well, she already explained what happened to the real professor, but you have to go through all three of these questions before you reach the deepest part. If you ask me, it'll be practically impossible for him to accept. He'll be pretty heartbroken. 
What is this time machine? Really? Okay, well that explains how all these ancient Pokemon got here. Oh, well, good to know. Good question. What do you really want? A dream. So you want to fulfill that dream? Make it come true? Oh god. Well then, I definitely don't want that to happen. Oh, no worries. I will. I'll make sure that no more humans suffer from the wrath of these ancient Pokémon. Well, actually, why did I say no more? I mean, these ancient Pokemon haven't even tried to harm humans just yet. I mean, that never happened during the main story. My god, look at this place! The walls here, it's, it's all just colorful crystals. That's the time machine? And it looks like there's something you're supposed to fit inside it. The Scarlet Book? Well, I figured that there was something pretty special about it. Well then, I... I should probably do it. Attack me? What? A battle machine? You mean the time machine will make you, uh, will turn you against me? I'm pretty sure I can prevail. I can stop all the madness. Well, all my Pokémon are fully healed, so I'm totally ready. Shut down? Oh, that can't be good. What's going on? Everything's turning yellow. What, what do I do now? Holy crap. What is this? Is this where the time machine attacks? It's definitely going to turn that AI professor against me. Oh god. What's in that master ball? And she's talking pretty weird again. So, I take it this is where you want to battle me. Fine. You're on. And I assume that all of her Pokémon are being carried in Master Balls. What do you got first? A Slither Wing. Well, I... I'm gonna assume it may be a Fire-type. Oh god, her eyes. And the way she speaks now. Let's do this. Time to take out this 
AI. Okay, ground moves don't work very well. Lunge? Isn't that a... I think that may be a bug type move. Oh, shut up and let the battle continue. Ugh. Yeah, 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 it's blended. Now let me do something. Thank you. I guess I'll switch to Toxmobile for the heck of it. Bug moves won't be very effective against it. Well, if it has a bug move, then I assume Slither Wing is a bug type, but it may have another type. I'll try using Sludge Bomb, I guess. Oh god, it keeps lowering Toxmobile's attack. Poisoned. Sweet. It's suffering from poison. And it will not be okay. Keep doing that all you want. It's not gonna stop my Reba Room. Just let's bomb it one more time and Slither Wing goes down. What next, Time Machine? Brute Bonnet. Okay, we already established it's a Dark type. Get out there, Crabberling! I already know one of your greatest weaknesses. Oh wait, it's weak to Ice Beam too. Is it also a Grass type? Well, I'm I'm understanding I'm understanding some of their weaknesses. Not all of the Pokemons, but some of them so far. Screamtail. Okay, uh what type was that? I guess I'll send Blazigator out for that one. I fought a Scream Tail before, AI. I can take this one out too. It's weak to ghost moves. So I assume it's a sidekick type. You have stood it, not that it matters. Burn it, Blazigator. Burn it pretty good. Good job, buddy. Now what does she have? Sandy Shocks. Well, judging from the word Shocks being in its name, it could be an electric type. Get back out there, muddy fish. And don't worry, I'll heal you before I'll let you attack. Now that looks like a... It's a very weird-looking version of Magneton. If it is an electric type, then Earth Power should do... It should be the correct move. And that Sandy Shocks has legs, by the looks of it. Sweet. Another Pokemon of hers goes down. And now, she's sending out Fluttermane. Now heck, I'll go with Thunderbeak. I haven't had her battle in Area Zero yet. I wonder if Fluttermane could be a flying type. So, I'm gonna use Thunderbolt against it. No, it's not a flying type. Oh crap. Uh, I don't think I want to risk missing with Hurricane. Oh wait, it's weak to steel moves. 
Is Blood Remain a rock type? Well, maybe not. It could be maybe a fairy type. Or, no it's not because Sludge Bomb only does moderate damage. It's also weak to ghost moves. I'll go with Toxmobile. It'll most likely use Power Gem again, and I don't want to risk Blazigator getting knocked out. You're going down, Fluttermane. Get spinning, Toxmo- Oh no. Oh god! Well, I, I guess I better hope for Blazigator to have more speed than that thing. Oh yeah, and it's also immune to normal moves, so it must also be a ghost type. Oh god, it's it's still faster. Oh, but Blazigator can still do this. Bye bye, Fluttermane. Roaring Moon. Can't imagine what that looks like. Return Blazigator, get back at their Arawana. No wait, I still haven't even used her in this battle yet. Oh, so you were expecting to lose to me? That's pretty unusual. And, ooh, that looks like a Salamence. Could it be a... a Dragon type? Oh wait, it had booster energy on it. Well, this could be somewhat of a problem. I hope it'll... Or I, I hope it it's a weak to ice move still. There goes Arawana, but... Grabber Lang, I hope you can help me out here. And... It is weak to ice move. Ah, but Crabber Lane won't withstand another strike. Oh, man. What do I want to do here? Well, I... I guess I could revive Toxmobile and hope it doesn't have any fire moves. This may be as good of a time as ever to use my only max revive. And that Roaring Moon better be her final Pokémon. It is her last Pokémon. Okay, Sludge Bomb it is. Oh god, no, why? I assume Thunderbeak will still be slower. No, it's not. And of course, it's still not out. Well, at the very least, I know that Thunderbeak is faster than that Roaring Moon. Although, I guess I could still try to use Moneyfish against it. Well, if it's a dragon type, then it should be weak to dazzling gleam. Oh wow, Moneyfish is faster than it. And there it goes. That AI professor is done. Well, actually, she's not done just yet. Oh, did I short circuit your systems? Well, it had to have been a good thing. Well, what happens now? Did I do it? Did I put a stop to this... evil dream? Oh hey, the others are here. 
I'm afraid you guys just missed one heck of a battle. I'm afraid so. Arvin? I'm afraid that's not really your mother. Nope, she sure isn't. She's never been your mother. Oh no. Now what's going on? I thought I put a stop to the time machine. You mean there was something else about the time machine you didn't know about? Oh no. Locking Pokeballs? Now what's going on with her? She's crystallizing. Seriously, what's going on now? Protection Protocol? Well, it turns out that there's still... Well, there's something else about the time machine. Like, I gotta do more to stop it. I must take out the Paradise Protection Protocol. It's using... Koridon. It's using its own Koridon. While I'm using... Nothing? Oh my god. What's going on with my Pokeballs? Oh no. This is pretty bad. How are we supposed to fight this being without Pokemon? Hey, wait a minute. I wonder if... This could be it. The time where we finally see Koridon in battle. Please let this work. Oh yeah. I'm gonna fight a Koridon with a Koridon. It's time for you to regain your ability to battle. Awesome. Koridon's battle form. Like we saw in the beginning. It's time for the true final battle. And this will be the final battle for the post story. The Guardian of Paradise. Well, that Guardian of Paradise is gonna suffer. Hmm, what should I start with? Okay, flamethrower it is. Oh, you're gonna taunt my Koridon, huh? You taunt my Koridon, and you get burned. Oh, that didn't do much good. Yep, she's right. You do have this Koridon. Let's see what Collision Course does. Screw you! I'm not gonna fail here. Oh, it looked like its flamethrower did a little more damage. That's not fair. Ah, oh, collision course didn't do much good either. I guess I'll try doing it again. It's bulking up. That's that can't be good. Come on, do it again, buddy. You can you can defeat this thing. 
Okay, the time wore off. Don't worry, Penny. I will win this. You know, just to be on the safe side, it, it'll most likely use a pretty powerful move, so... Let's endure it. Your dreams will never come true, Protocol. I'm gonna shatter it into a million pieces. Oh boy. I was right about the kind of move it would use. And unfortunately for that Kariden, it has to recharge after using Giga Impact. Oh, and my Kariden gains some attack. I better heal him up first. There you go, pal. You still got this. I know it. We can pull off a win, Nimona. Half bait, all of you. My Terra Orb. Ooh, -hoo -hoo. I think I know exactly what I want to do next. You got it, Arvin. It gains attack and defense, and a special attack stats too. And speed. Okay. This is it. Come on, Kryden. It's time to terrestrialize! And use your all-powerful Terra Blast. Kryden is now a Dragon type. Do it! Terra Blast it! Finish this battle! Okay, it's still standing, but not for long. I will, Penny. This battle ends now. Bye-bye, Protection Protocol. This battle is done. Well, AI Seda, you lose. For real this time. You bet I did. I know, Namona. I'm pretty victorious. Me and Koridon are. Well, I wouldn't really say she's normal. You know, now that we already established she's just a robot. You're welcome, AI Professor. All is forgiven. Really. It never was you who attacked me. It was all that machine and such, or all that technology here. And that decision is? Oh, really? Looks like she has no choice. I bet she did. I'm afraid she has to go, Arvin. Yes. Yes, it is. Farewell. Adieu to you, too. And thank you for the battle. It was quite an experience.
I know, Arvin. We're all sorry about your mother. Yes, Nimona. It's great to see that it's able to battle again. Thank you. We were all amazing. I say, we go home. This journey is done. Okay, what's gonna happen? I know another cutscene's gonna play. Hurry up and load it. What is it, Nimona? <laughs> yeah, typical you. You're always up for an adventure. But then again, so am I. Come on, Arvin. Just go with the flow. Feel the flow. Like Yuma Tsukumo in Yukio's Exile says. Oh, okay, so this is where the end credits play. It doesn't happen until after you clear the post story. Usually you see credits after you defeat the Pokemon League and enter the Hall of Fame, but that's apparently not the case for Scarlet and Violet. Now even though the credits are playing here, this is still not the final part of my playthrough. There's still something else I want to show up, and that is the rematches against all the gym leaders. It's something that you unlock after completing the post story. In fact, I showed off the rematch against Kofu in Pokemon Violet in one of my microphone test videos. And, well, that's exactly what I'll be doing in part 16. Defeating all the gym leaders once again and... Well, you'll see what happens afterwards. For now, just enjoy the end credits. Troubled heart is a million miles away 
Yes, you're very welcome, game. And look at that. What a photo, huh? The four of us, including Koryden. And you end up back in your dorm room after all that. So before I end part 15, I should probably stop by the director's office now. Oh, uh... So he wants to see all four of us. We're coming, Director. So, what's all this about? Well, that's good to know. That, of course, means that none of us are in trouble. We sure did. Even though I pretty much did all of it. And what would that be? So, this right here is where you finally get a Master Ball. And I have no clue what I even want to use it on. Hall of Fame badge? Wait, when did I get that? Yes, you can always count on me. That's the spirit, Arvin. Yep, I say it should be. Battle contest. That sounds like fun. Now who's that? Oh boy! La Primera has showed up! Yep, it's quite a surprise.
Battle the teachers? Really? Oh, wow. Well, never knew that. Why, yes. I, I'd be happy to help. And where should I start? So, right here she's telling you that you can re-challenge all the gym leaders. But like I said, I'm going to be saving that until the next part. Oh, I'm pretty sure I'll have... Well, I ha I'll have some fun re-challenging the gym leaders. I did it before in Pokemon Violet. Well, uh, that cutscene's done. There's just one last thing I want to show off before I end this video. I'm just gonna head outside the school and see if something happens. Okay, when you go to your uh, Pokemon menu, it tells you that you can now switch Koridon between Battle Form and Ride Form. Which means, of course, you can now use it for any Pokémon battle. However, when you want to change it to battle form, you'll if your party is already full, you'll have to switch one of your Pokémon with it. Because now, it'll count as one of your six Pokémon, when it's in battle form. But honestly, I prefer to keep Koridon and Muraiden from Violet in their riding form, since they do help me get along the region pretty fast, and... I, I always could use the ability to ride along water and climb walls and such. But now you can see that all the gyms are remarked on the map. So you could just go to each one and battle the gym leaders again. And of course, they're all going to be much stronger and have new Pokemon as well. And you can also go back to the Zero Gate and return to Area Zero so you can go uh, you can go back and catch all the mysterious Pokemon you may not have caught yet. Including all of the ancient Pokemon, which are still around there. But there's no need to worry about that. Well, that's gonna be it. Thank you for watching. I will see you later in part 16. I'm not so sure if that will be the final part, but... We'll see about that. Bye, everyone.